Here I am with Carolyn McIntosh. Uh, are you a lecturer, Carolyn? With, I am. A lecturer with, with uh, midwifery at the Tiger Polytechnic. So, Carolyn, what, what's midwifery? Um? Midwifery is working with women during the childbearing year. Um, the course at Otago Polytechnic is a three-year degree course. Um, the students that do the course are m often women who have already had families and we do get some school leavers that come and do the course as well. There are people who have an interest in women's studies and... Um, uh, and, and um, when the student does, like I imagine, learning how to be a midwife, you'd need some pretty hands-on type experience. How does that happen? Yeah, it's, it's a clinically based course and they get experience working with women right from first year. They have uh, women that they'll be working with um, in what we call a follow through relationship. So they are supporting that woman during her pregnancy and often they are during the birth and, and for about six weeks afterwards just seeing what the experience is like for the woman. And then moving into second year they're doing more, they're getting into more clinical skills and doing blood pressure and assessing women through the pregnancy and helping care for her during the birth and post Italy. And then in third year, they're out and about, um, aligned with midwives and going round and do, just accompanying the midw midwives and doing what the midwives do. Okay, so the third year is they get some very practical experience. What was the first year again? They first year is theory and they do some clinical experience working, just what we call follow through with a woman where they're, they're supporting a woman during her pregnancy, birth and postnatal and they're just really seeing what that experience is like for the woman. Who organises that type of contact with a, a willing mother? Uh, we do. We, right. we ask for volunteers from the community to come forward to um, have a, a student midwife work with them. And uh, the students studying only in Otago or they come from around the place? Students come internationally. Internationally yeah, do the course? Yeah, great, from, great. from New Zealand, from Australia. We get quite a few from Canada. Okay, oh, that's fantastic. How do they do that then? How do you coordinate that sort of thing? Um, they find out about it through word of mouth and through the, the website. Yep. Um, Otago Polytechnic's got quite a profile internationally. So they, they would contact you by email and then you'd negotiate yep. some sort yeah, of course? Yeah, they do, them. yes. Oh, okay. And then we, they, they find out what the requirements, what academic requirements they need um, and, uh, and put in an application and okay. we look at that. Mm. All right, well, I think that pretty much covered it. Thanks Thank very you. much. <laughs>